Hey, Pop, can I sit there? You want to do a review with me? Excuse me. Yeah! Hey there, Net Best Boys, welcome back to the channel. As it was Omre, this Foxy, as they were going to be looking at Aquaman. So, Aquaman is the latest in the DCEU series of films, and man, this might be the best one. Although, I'll be honest, I'm still really partial to Superman, and Wonder Woman was really good, and I pretty much find value or little things that I like about in each of the movies. There are some good things in Suicide Squad, I'll say. Not much, but it's there. Enough to win an Oscar. So while I have you here at the beginning of the video, definitely go down and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the videos that I do put out. And the question for you guys this video is, what superhero do you want to see get their own movie? And yes, there is a big asterisk here, because I want a new superhero suggestion. I don't want it to be one that already has a movie coming out, or one that's rumored to be in development. I want something completely new, so let me know what you guys think. After an attack on the surface world, Arthur Curry must travel to his mother's homeland of Atlantis and challenge his half-brother for a seat on the throne and prevent a war between Atlanteans and the surface world. Are you hitting down? You done? He's chilling? Yeah! So James Wan knocked it out of the park directing this movie. It has some gorgeous environments, some really well shot and well choreographed action scenes, and it's just such a visual treat. It's very colorful. Like, really. Pretty different from the past DCEU films. Jason Momoa did an amazing job as Aquaman. He was awesome. I really liked him in Justice League. I thought he was really great there. And in this movie, he just shines. He's awesome. I don't know how many times I've said awesome at this point. But he's awesome. And I never thought they'd be able to adapt the Aquaman suit into a live action film, but it looks really good. Patrick Wilson was great as Ocean Master. And the rest of the supporting cast, including Amber Heard, Nicole Kidman, and Willem Dafoe, did great jobs as well. I want to give a shout out to Dolph Lundgren, because he was one of the other Atlantean Kingdom's kings and Mira's father. And I love watching him on screen. He's really great. Am I a little biased because I got to see him in person while we were filming Creed? Maybe, but I was giddy seeing him then, and it was really fun to see him here. So the movie does have some weird pacing issues at times. But one thing I do really like is how they kind of gloss over a lot of the Aquaman uh, origin story, I guess. Like when he's a kid developing his powers. You get the snippet when he's in the aquarium with the bullies. You get a shot of him training with uh, Willem Dafoe when he's younger. That's about it, and I thought that was really good. Uh, streamlining it, you know? So I mentioned visuals a little bit earlier, but the visuals and the audio from the trailer were greatly improved leading into the film. A great example would be them actually sounding like they're talking underwater. Another very visually pleasing moment was a particularly spicy kiss during an underwater battle. And like I said, it's a pretty spicy. It's a nice kiss. So there is a really good balance between the main villain who's Ocean Master and the sub-villain who's Black Manta. I really liked his origin as to why he hates Aquaman, why he wants to take him down, how his arc incorporates into Aquaman's arc and makes him develop. And also, Black Manta's suit is just awesome. So I do want to take points away from the movie for using Pipple's Ocean to Ocean song. Man, that is... It's just so bad. Luckily, in the movie, it's used in probably the best way it possibly could for about five seconds, I would say. And then we just never hear from it again, which is awesome. Also, the end credit song... Pretty good. I liked it. I like Skylar Gray. She did a good job, I think. And the credits look pretty cool. So that's good. We do get some really good world building, which is great because we haven't seen this realm in DCEU or even in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I really like how they established some of the history, uh, the lore, such as how the different factions came to be, how they developed into different kind of creatures. Uh, how there's different levels of the society, such as the highborns who can breathe air as well as water, and I'm guessing they're called the lowborn, which need like the aqua suits, which are pretty cool. And the last thing that I just want to bring up is the fact that this is, at its core, a really dumb, really over the top, crazy at times movie, but they know that, and they embrace it, and that just makes it even better. With its gorgeous visuals, great action, and a studly main character, this is absolutely a great film to take the entire family to this holiday season. Aquaman gets an 8 
out of 10. I honestly never thought I'd be excited to see a movie revolving around the superhero who could talk to fish, but man, was this a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the movie. My mommy is actually buying me an Aquaman shirt for Christmas, so you'll see that in a video, I imagine. So that's my review for Aquaman, guys. As always, thanks for watching the video. It means a great deal you're continuing to watch the videos that I do put out. Like I said at the beginning, definitely go and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the content that I do put out. Definitely give the video a like, share with a movie loving friend, and again, let me know down in the comment section down here which superheroes you want a movie for. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya. Now I'm off to finish wrapping Christmas gifts, because I do that last minute. <laughs>